One of the greatest areas of wisdom is knowing how to manage change. Change whether it's forced upon us, it's seasonal, it's an issue of the time of life we're in, whether it's a political thing, financial situation, any area of change, if we know how to manage it and we know how to work within the parameters that are set before us, we're always better off when we operate in the wisdom of God. One of the things we've learned in some past lessons, if you've looked at them, is that the first area of change for us, if we really want a changed life, is to let God change me. And I talked about some hindrances to change, and today I want to give you what I consider to be probably one of the biggest hindrances there is to change, and that is the failure to persist in change. You know, everybody's probably done the thing after Christmas when you're bloated and you've had too much pumpkin pie and all of that stuff and you're thinking, man, I need to lose some weight. I need to get in shape. I'm going to go to the gym. I'm going to quit eating this, that, or the other, whatever. And we make some really good uh, determinations and maybe we do really well for a few days. The problem is, are we still doing it in April? <laughs> uh, when I'm talking to you now, it's July. Are we still pretty faithful in July. You see, really, it's, it's the thing of persistence, being consistent to do these things that's going to make the difference. Because your future, my future, is really encapsulated in my daily routine. The things that I do every day, now I know there are exceptions, we all take vacations and sometimes things happen that disrupt the schedule, but I'm saying generally speaking, day in and day out, week in and week out, it's the routine that we live by that's determining where we're going to be in the future. If we make the mistake of only looking at today or just next week, then we're probably going to have some real problems and issues accomplishing the vision that God has for us. Because God is right now, but God is also out there in the future. As a matter of fact, in the book of Isaiah, in chapter 46 and verse 10, we're told that God declares the end from the beginning. Now, how does he do that? Well, God's outside of time. He's in the realm of the eternal. And so he can say things outside of time that's going to affect what happens in time. Now, I'm not just trying to be confusing here, but what really happens is when God gives us a vision, when God shows us his purpose, usually it's for the future and it demands change in the present. But the good news is that the same Spirit of God that deals with us about God's glorious vision for the future is the same Spirit of God that dwells in us right now. So God declares the end from the beginning, but then comes over into time through the person of the Holy Spirit and walks that change out with us each and every day. So learn to rely on the Holy Spirit. Learn to depend on Him because He has the answers, the wisdom, the ability to affect change in any area of your life. We affect and touch five areas, the spiritual, the soulish, the physical, the material, and the relational. God wants to bring change in all those areas for the better. So let him do that today. If you've enjoyed the message you've just heard, we've got more for you on our website, www.freedomword.org. We always want to bring you a message that's powerful, a message that's positive, and a message that will position you for the great things God has planned for you. He has wonderful things in store for you. If you'd like to visit us at Freedom Word Church, we encourage you to contact us for more information. The area code is 434 352 2434 is the number and we'd love to hear from you and love to visit with you and worship with you in a service very soon every Wednesday at 7 every Sunday morning at 10 a.m. Till next time, God bless you.